بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله uh, Today we're gonna solve a uh, problem first order system uh, draw the transient response so what's given here given the transfer function of a first order system uh, clearly it's an electrical system for example E out over EI 16 over 3S plus 4 this is the transfer function given so this is what first order or second order system this is first order system how to know that check the power of the denominator it's to the power 1 right so this is going to be uh, first order system okay also given the initial conditions the initial conditions in this system are zero given okay uh, what's required the objective or the objective of this problem is a draw the transient response due to step input okay step input of value uh, uh, let's let's say it's a, a unit step by the way this is a, a problem from an old exam a problem from an old exam so let's say it's a unit step step input equal to one unit step okay okay so draw the transient response uh, for a step input so we want to draw the step response we call it briefly the step response what is the step response due to a unit huh? unit step input okay uh, let's understand this problem. This is given the transfer function. Okay. This is the model of your system. You have to know the model for, of your system in, all, in order to draw the transient response. You must know the, order, the model of the system. So you should be uh, given either the transfer function or the equation of motion. Here he gave you the transfer function. Okay. So how to draw this? Now, before we, this is the short solution, okay? Uh, before we draw the solution, okay, you should know the following. This is the time, and this is the solution. What's the output here? E out. So this is the voltage out in the time domain, E of T. Okay. The input, okay, uh, step input, this is EI. EI of T equal to 1. Okay. All right. All right, so before we start, what do you think the response will look like? The response for sure will be exponential, exponential. How do I know it's going to be exponential? Because we have first order system. All first order system will behave the same. If you give them a step input, they will, they will always behave the same. They will be a exponential solution, all of them. So what do I need to know? I need to know where the function will start from, the initial value. What's the initial value? And where is the final value? And how much tau? And how much the steady state or the settling time? The time it takes to reach the steady state solution. Okay? So these are what you know you need to do. Uh, no, okay? The settling time, you need to know how much tau? Initial value and final value, time response, uh, the time's constant, and the settling, uh, uh, settling time. Initial value, how are you going to find the initial value? From the uh, initial value theorem, okay? The limit uh, as S goes to infinity, right? S times what? The uh, solution, which is E, e out. Okay, what about the final value? It's going to be the limit as S goes to zero, S E out. Tau, how are you going to find tau? From the equation of motion or the transfer function, okay, you need to find the, this is going to be the, para, the coefficient of S when the other parameter, this coefficient must be equal to one, the standard form, remember the standard form? By the way, this is from the equation of motion. So you need to write this in the standard form in order to find tau. Okay, 
The long way to find tau is to solve the transfer function, solve it, get the uh, E of T, the, uh, the, uh, the total solution in the time domain, and then the power from the power of E, you can get the uh, time uh, uh, constant. But shortly, I will show you the short way how to find the uh, uh, time response, uh, the time constant from the transfer function directly. Settling time, settling time is equal to four times tau. That's all. Okay, so we'll do it one by one. Okay. Uh, the limit uh, of S, E out, how to find E out? E out will be what? What is E out? E out is equal to the transfer function times the input. Right? Isn't it? The transfer function, which is E out over E i, if you multiply by E i, it will give you E out. So the transfer function is 16 over 3s, oh sorry, three s plus 4 times EI. What is EI? It's a step input. So this is in the time domain. It's going to be 1 over s. 1 over s, right? So uh, this is E out. So if you take the limit, the limit as S goes to infinity and multiply by S, so S will cancel with S and you're left with what? 16 over 3S plus 4 and S will go to infinity. S will go to infinity. So any number by infinity, it will be zero. So what does that mean? That means this is my initial value. Let me, this is the initial value here, huh? I will show you in another color, in another color. Let's use uh, green, okay, or blue, blue maybe. Okay, let me use uh, dark blue. So this is my initial value. Okay, initial value. So my function will start from here, for sure, right? Initial value. All right. Okay, what about the final value? The final value, it will be 16 over 3s plus 4 as s goes to 0. So this is will be what? 16 over 4, which is equal to, which is equal to 16 by 4. It's going to be 4. Right, so this is my final value. It will be somewhere here, right? It's a number somewhere here. Let's assume four is here. Here, okay. This is number four, which is my uh, final value. Okay, this is the final value. All right. Okay, let me draw. Or, or later. Okay, tau, how to find tau, how to find tau, from the transfer function, okay, from the transfer function, uh, I want to use this uh, page in order to focus, so from the transfer function, uh, 16 over the 3s plus 4, what's my objective, I need to write it in the standard form, what do I mean by standard form? The denominator must be must look like this tau s plus one. This is the standard form. Okay, this is s not thirty six. This is s. S huh? tau s. So how to go from here to here? Okay, so here we we will have a number here. Let's call it uh, uh, k which is the controller, by the way, this constant, we will talk about in chapter eight. Okay, for now, how to go from here to here? I'm gonna divide by four, divide by four. So this will become uh, 16 by four, and this is a four by four, and this is a three by four S. This will give you four over uh, three over four S plus one, so how much tau? Tau will be this number, huh? This number, 3 over, this is tau, huh? 
this is tau tau will be how much 3 by 4 seconds huh like time in seconds settling time 4 times tau so it's gonna be 3 seconds now we have all the information now we can draw the solution the transient response I will show you step by step first let me write what do, what did we uh, find we found the final value we found the initial value we found tau where is tau 3 over 4 okay 3 over 4 so this is a uh, for example uh, uh, 1 uh, 1 2 3 1 2 3 let me write it this is number 1 this is number 2 this is number 3 okay so tau 3 over 4 so this is tau okay okay and this is number 1 2 3 this is equal to what 3 the settling time 3 okay all right now let me use another pen another color uh, let's use green okay now when you reach uh, the time constant uh, yes uh, when you reach the time constant okay this is the time constant how much you are in the transient response you're about uh, from the analysis this is about 63% of the final value let me write it clearly uh, this is the final value uh, 30 or 60 three percent of the final value exactly you are here okay when you reach tau so if you draw it it will be like this huh? okay this is just a sketch huh? sketch all right and when you reach uh, the settling time how much you are when you reach the settling time when you reach the settling time you are about 98% so this is the settling time you're about here this is a sketch huh? it doesn't matter you don't have to be uh, uh, very accurate it's a sketch okay approximation and it's, it's a very good approximation so here you are at this point you are at 98% of the final value. Okay. Let me write it again. So it will be more clear. Of the final value. Okay, sorry. Okay. Final value. 98% you're reach, reaching the settling time okay so you draw care to here huh? okay after that it will go to the steady state this is the final value or the steady state value okay It will go forever, huh? Stay within two percent of the f final uh, value. Within two percent, huh? Within two percent of the final value. It will go straight. Within, it will stay within 2% of the final value. 
it will not leave this area. It will never leave this area. It will be stay inside this area within 2% of the final value. Okay? That's why we call this region the steady state region. Okay? So this is my transient response region. This is the transient response region. From here to here. We call it transient because you can see the uh, response is changing all the time during this transient period. Here it will not change. Halas, it will stay within the 2%. It will continue inside this uh, small uh, uh, duration or small uh, value of 2%. Okay. This is the steady state. From here to here, steady state. Halas. And that's all. Okay. This is how we draw the transient response, showing all the details. Okay. All you need to know where you start from, where you end at, or how much tau, the time it takes to reach 63% of the final value, and how much the settling time, the time it takes to reach and stay within 2% of the final value. Okay. And we call all this, by the way, transient response, and this is the steady state response. Steady state will not change. Halas, it will continue as a constant number, almost constant number, within the error of 2%. All right? So this is the most common problem. Either in the exam or in, in a test, either you are given the transfer function or the uh, equation of motion, and uh, uh, the objective is to draw the transient response uh, response due to step input showing all the details. Or, or the other type of problem, I may give you the uh, graph or the uh, uh, time response or the uh, transient response from an experiment already, but I don't know what's the model. I don't know what's the transfer function or the equation of motion. So can you find it? The answer is yes. At least you need to know what's the slope from here, as I showed you in the previous lecture. How much the slope? Well, usually it's given in the test. And from the slope, you can find the final uh, uh, value also from the, uh, uh, from the uh, transient response. Okay. Knowing the final value and knowing the uh, uh, slope, you can know how much tau. And from tau, from tau you can uh, get your uh, uh, transfer function. Okay. And that's all, inshallah. Next class, inshallah, we will have the... Uh, second order system, the transient response of second order system. Thank you very much.